Pool Noodle. Item Number SCP-365 Object Class Euclid Special Containment Procedures SCP-365 is to be kept in its testing pool at all times. The door to the pool is to be locked and guarded by one security guard. See Addendum 365-2. Experiment requests must be approved by a Level 3 researcher. Description SCP-365 is a green pool noodle made of polyethylene foam. By itself, it displays no unusual properties and is physically identical to a typical noodle of similar size. SCP-365's unusual properties manifest only when it is placed in a body of water. When a subject completely submerges in said body of water, they become unable to get out. Subjects report a sense of dread and describe themselves swimming in an infinite sea, swimming endlessly in a direction and finding only more water. See Audio Log 365-3. It is important to note that to outside observers, the subject simply seems to be flailing in place. The only way to remove a submerged person from the water is to remove SCP-365, negating its effects. All other methods of rescue have failed, cables and ropes have exhibited an unnatural resistance, and snapped. Drainage systems have failed, and human intervention has led to data expunged. Addendum 365-1 SCP-365 was discovered in blank on blank 19 blank. Retrieval personnel found it at the blank public pool along with the bodies of blank civilians. Because SCP-365's properties were unknown at the time, blank agents lost their lives. SCP-365 was eventually found and removed from the pool, and carbon monoxide from an improperly maintained water heater was used as a cover story. Addendum 365-2 On blank, 2000 blank. Researcher Blank discovered that Hallway 19 of Storage Site 23 was flooded. Blank noticed water leaking from SCP-365 storage locker at a rate of 5 liters per minute. She quickly notified Dr. Blank, who opened the locker to find SCP-365 producing water from its holes. SCP-365 was subsequently moved to its testing pool, whereupon the flow of water stopped. SCP-365's containment procedures have been changed accordingly.